All right, so this is our first part of the smoke shade. And these are four by eights. Four by eights, and we're starting on the first side of the smoke shade. And then we have two by fours that are, are basically lining the four by eight piece of plywood. And right now we're clamping it down and then we're just putting our T25 screws in the side of it to outline it. So if you look down carefully, you can see that we're, we're putting a little lip out for each side so that way they snug into each other. And then right here, we have the clamps down so that way we're not we're not having like a diagonal. <laughs> well, I grew it out, but uh, we You can see the way it, the fame was right here. So what Frank is doing is coming underneath it to drill it in. And we'll do that all the way around. Not to be at right now. now, once we lay this on top, we'll be doing the exact same thing. We also have these pre marked too, so when you're looking down and you're setting down the the two by four on a side, then you'll notice that we already have it pre-marked so that it will have that same lip. <laughs> I've done that before. All right, so now we're finally getting started on the door. We'll be cutting the inner part of it out. This is our door. <clears throat> We're making it a little, a little bit smaller.
because the door is going to be in the middle, so this will still need a smaller frame for it. So and the door will probably be close to six feet tall and maybe about three feet. Okay, so today we are finishing up the the walls, the roof, basically everything uh, that we have done at the house. We have now transported it out to Chance's house and we are getting started to putting it together. So well, this will be our final day doing this. So we'll show everybody else like some of the small tips that the to do's and not to do when you're putting these together. And as you can see, these are our four by eight slabs that we had had done originally at the house. So now we will be putting them together too.
Yes. All right, so now the, the next thing we're gonna do is that you don't wanna just start your, uh, start making jerky right away. So the, one of the things that you're gonna be able to do is uh, layer your inside of your shed with oil, vegetable oil. It can be the cheapest oil. You don't have to get expensive olive oil or anything, but then you're gonna coat it all over and then you're gonna burn uh, probably a fire for at least two days. Just keep it going throughout the days uh, periodically. Uh, but try to keep it going to where you're going to blacken the inside of it. So this is one of the ways that you'll do it. The fastest way you can do it is by taking your olive oil and dump it in. Like you're just doing paint. And once you do that, just start from the bottom. Roll it up. Get your whole shed. Uh, it doesn't really have to be nice and neat. You can get your boards inside. Everything, just kind of layer it down. And it will help that. It will help your. It will help your uh, smoke stick into this. The more the better. It's gonna be really sloppy. All right, so we are, today we're going to, um, all we're gonna do on this part is, is uh, just burn our, burn our uh, spreader metal. And uh, one of the ways that we can wanna do it is of course get it out further away from anything so you're not burning a fire. All right, so the next part that we're gonna do during our shed is we have our, our little uh, spreader metal that we have. Normally you can just ask whoever, if that, uh, your metal shop that's near you, if they'll just wanna get rid of them because they don't care for them. Now what we're gonna do with these is that we're gonna set these down and put these inside your shed somewhere. Try to make sure they're in there good and then you're gonna set them on each side the front. Now one thing too is once you start, if you start uh, getting, you're burning your fire and fire and you notice it's starting to mound up like that, make sure you take that all out, dig a hole because what happens when you start adding wood onto it, it will roll off and when you, when it rolls off it could catch your shed on fire and this is what to, is to help prevent it so that it will stop it. So you'll want to have them somewhat at an angle so that if it rolls off, it will stop it from catching onto your shed. And you'll just want to lay them around your whole part, like so, and then put your other one right here. You don't really have to worry about sterilizing this because you'll see that we didn't really sterilize these because it's not something that it's really going to be involved in. The next thing is, is that we're going to that we're going to be adding our, our racks to see how clean that they slide in there. Hopefully they do because we've spent a lot of time measuring this stuff. And they slide in there perfectly. We actually did a good job on it. And we're only starting chance with two racks, so this is what it will be looking like. And like that. And these are uh, pretty mushy. The finalizing touches of building your smoke shed. Uh, we'll be doing a little bit of interviews later and whatnot. But this completes our, this is it. So now he'll be able to run his fire and then uh, be able to uh, finish this up. So this is our documentation with Chance and Aaron finishing this up smoke shed. So now he can get started making some jerky. All right, Chance. So we just finished up your shed, and we've. This has been one of our long-term goals. So, what made you want to do this? To have a smoke shed. Uh, I really wanted to have a smoke shed because, so then I could like provide for my family and 
I knew how to like cut up meat and go hunting and all that, but I wanted to expand my knowledge of what I can do with the meat. So now that you have a smoke shed, what is your next step to, uh, into accomplishing after you've had the smoke shed uh, built? Well, I guess the first step is to learn how to use it correctly. Start, like, keep on going to errands so then I can just expand my knowledge and then just keep on, keep on learning about it. And then after that, maybe expand for more than two racks cut this out a little bit okay do you have anybody in mind that you would like to teach to do this next now that you've learned how to do this uh yeah my my buddy sean estrada we go he's the only one i kind of really know that is in our generation that likes hunting and that will go hunting so by just teaching him that would be a that'd be a good okay when what you, when you're cutting jerky what is what is your thoughts that are going through your mind um, be good. <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't know i just uh, we can come back to that one okay. so what is your what is your favorite thing what is your favorite uh, i guess your favorite spice uh, I like pepper. okay all right. Thank you for answering all my questions today, Chance.